Did you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered? Those tiny lights weren't just stars. Some of them moved. Today we know them as planets. But why are they named the way they are? From gods of war to kings of the underworld, the story of planetary names is also the story of human imagination. Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. The Romans named it after their swift-footed messenger god. Why? Because Mercury races across the sky faster than any other planet. It completes an orbit in just 88 days. Venus, the brightest object in our night sky after the moon. To the Romans, Venus was the goddess of love and beauty. But don't let the name fool you. In reality, Venus is a hell world, with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead and clouds of sulfuric acid. Our planet's name is different. Earth doesn't come from mythology. It comes from Old English and Germanic words meaning ground or soil. We're the only planet not named after a god. Maybe because to us, this wasn't just a planet, it was home. Mars is the red planet, named after the Roman god of war. Its blood-red color made ancient observers think of battle and bloodshed. Today, it's the most studied planet after Earth, and maybe our future home. Jupiter, the giant of the solar system, named after the king of the Roman gods. Its massive size, powerful storms, and dozens of moons made it the true ruler of the skies. Saturn, god of time and harvest, known for its stunning rings, which are made of countless chunks of ice and rock. To ancient astronomers, Saturn moved the slowest across the sky, fitting the god of time perfectly. Uranus is unique. It's tilted on its side, rolling around the sun like a ball. It's named after the ancient Greek god of the sky, father of Saturn. Discovered much later than the others, its name kept the mythological tradition alive. Neptune, discovered in 1846, was named after the Roman god of the sea, fitting for its deep blue color. Though it's far and cold, it has the strongest winds in the solar system, reaching over 1,200 miles per hour. And then, there's Pluto. Once the ninth planet, now classified as a dwarf planet, named after the god of the underworld, its distant, shadowy orbit made the name perfect. Though it was demoted, Pluto still holds a place in our imagination. Each planet has a myth, a god, a legend behind its name. But now, it's your turn. If a new planet was found on the edge of the solar system, what do you think it should be called?